This video will show you how to use the instant check function in Sage Business Vision. To access the instant check, you go to Utilities, then select Instant Check. You can do an instant check for a customer, for an existing vendor, or for a one-time vendor. I'm going to show you how to create a check for a customer and how to void a check if you want to. Let's take a look at this example. This customer has an invoice of $100 and he make a payment of $200. Now he has a credit of $100 in his account. To issue the check for this amount, you go to Utilities, select Instant Check, select that customer, click Next, enter the date of the payment and the total amount for the check, enter the memo for the payment, click Next, make sure the bank account and the check number is correct, click Finish, and once you see this one, you click on the print check icon at the bottom and the check will be printed. If everything is OK, you click Yes to finish. When you go back to the customer account, you will see the debit memo with this amount. Then you can link the debit memo to the invoice to clear the transaction. Let's say you make a mistake and you want to void that check. How do we do it? You go to Inquiry and locate the transactions and link the debit memo to bring it back to the open item. So go back to open item and the debit memo come back. To reverse a debit memo, we will do a credit memo. Make sure auto post is turned off at the bottom. So if you see it's on, you press F8 to change the auto post off. First look at the journal entry of the debit memo so that when you do a credit memo it will affect the same account. So in this case we will affect the Royal Bank and the account receivable tray. So now I'm doing a credit memo. Put in the reference. put in the amount and it has no tax so I'm going to clear the tax and then post if you get a message are you sure no tax applies to this transaction yes and the journal entry will go to account receivable tray and this account given we need to change this one to the bank account and then post it. Then link the debit memo and the credit memo together. That's how you can void a check in account receivable. I'm going to show you how to print the check for an assisting vendor and how to void that check. Let's go back to Business Vision. Let's say I want to print a check for Air Canada. Go to Utilities, Instant Check, select Accessing Vendor and select Air Canada. Click Next. Enter the date, the amount, and if there is no tax, you can clear the tax. Enter the memo and then click Next. If you see the message, are you sure no tax applies to this transaction? Click Yes. Make sure the expense account is correct. You can change the expense account if you want to. The bank account, you can also change to another bank account. In this case, I have only one bank account, so I will keep that as Royal Bank and the check account. And then you click Finish. Click the Print Check button. 
and the check will be printed? If everything OK, you say yes to message. Was the check printed correctly? Go back to the vendor account. Refresh the vendor and go to the inquiry. The check is printed and an invoice and the payment is posted to the account. If you need to void that check, go back to the account payable, locate the vendor, go to inquiry and locate the payment. So you see the payment is linked to the invoice. When reverse the payment, first of all we need to unlink the payment. So highlight the payment, click the unlink icon, go to open items, the invoice and the payment will be listed here. To void the payment, you highlight the payment and then click on the void check icon. You will get the message, do you wish to void this check number? Say yes. And now the payment will be voided and you have the invoice left. If you want to reverse the invoice, you can do a credit memo to reverse the invoice. And this is how to create an instant check for an existing vendor and how to void the check. Now I'm going to show you how to create a check for a one-time vendor and how to void that check. Let's go back to Business Vision. Go to Utilities, Instant Check, select One Time. And since this is a one-time vendor, we need to in enter the information of the payee. And then you click Next. Select the payment date. Enter the check amount. If there is tax, make sure the tax is correct. And enter the memo. And then click Next. You can change the expense account if you want to. You can also change the bank account and make sure the check number is correct. Then click finish. And as you can see, the information of the payee will be on the check. And then click the print check icon. If the check is OK, you can print to the printer and answer yes to the message. Was the check printed correctly? When you go to account payable, open the vendor list, go to the end of the list, you will see a special vendor named one time. Open one time vendor, go to inquiry and you will see three checks has been issued for this vendor. So if we look at this, how do we know who we wrote the check for? You look at the reference number, it will tell you the check number. Then go to the notes, and as you can see, notes 3, that means there are 3 notes. And look at the sub-check, it will show you what is the reference number. So if you highlight the check number 2026, and this is the payee name. Number 27, go to Deborah Murphy. Number 28, go to John Smith. So let's say I want to void the check for number 26. Go back to the inquiry. Look for check number 2026. And you see the payment is linked with the invoice. So we need to unlink the payment first. Highlight the payment and click the unlink item. Then click on Open Items. Now we will see the invoice and the payment. At usual, to void a check in account payable, you just highlight the payment and click on the Void Check icon. And then you say Yes to void it. Now you have the invoice left. You will need to reverse the invoice as well by doing a credit memo. And make sure the credit memo 
post to the same the account as the invoice. So look at the invoice journal entry. It credit the account payable two one one two zero. It debit the tax account two one four one zero, and debit the postage expense a two three five zero. So the credit member also need to post to the three accounts. So I'm going to go to new items. Select the credit memo. Put in the reference number. Put in the amount. And then click post. And the journal entry post to 21120, debit 500, A2350, credit 46729. And two one four one zero, grade thirty two seventy one, which is correct. So I'm going to post this one, and then link the credit memo to the invoice. So this is how to create a check for a one-time vendor and how to avoid that check. This is the end of the video about how to use instant check function in Business Vision. If you have any questions. Please contact the Customer Support Department at 800-215-5395.